Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope you've all been well and it's been a while since I've done some sort of haul or beauty video. Um, as you all may already know that um, my girlfriend came from Adelaide and we had such a blast. So she holidayed here for, it was supposed to be five days, but she ex extended to 10 days because we had so much fun and she didn't want to leave. And I wanted to share with you all some awesome news for me. Um, she's decided to, is that the phone? Oh, okay. Hold on one second. Okay. So as I was saying, let me just fix this. Um, as I was saying, my girlfriend has decided to move in here with me and um, my brother. So I'm really excited and she will be here in two weeks. My brother's going to fly to Adelaide and they're going to drive back. Um, so I decided that I wouldn't go and pick her up because I thought two females driving two and a half days, you know, going from Queensland to Adelaide, oh sorry, from coming from Adelaide to Queensland, I think um, it's more, you know, a man's sort of job. So I, I'm really excited. I can't wait. I haven't been sleeping well because I've been so anxious. But anyway, so um, I uploaded um, a vlog of just bits and pieces of um, when she came and then I've got another one I'm going to put out. We went to the Monday markets and that was a really good day. It was so busy. That was Easter day we went and um, it was so much fun. So anyway, I'll upload that one probably within a few days to a week. We'll see how we go. Um, so I thought I would share some of the things I've picked up along the way. Um, you've probably seen it all on Instagram before. Um, if not, because um, I know a lot of my um, subscribers don't follow me on Instagram. So um, we'll, sorry, I'm just trying to sort out this computer. Um, yeah, so I'll show you some of the things in no particular order that I've picked up along the way. Um, so we'll start off with um, a candle and we don't actually have, not that I know of anyway, we don't get Yankee candles here, but I found this one at Trade Secret um, and Trade Secret is a, um, like a fashion beauty sort of clothing. They have some beauty products like um, on and off. I know they used to sell Mac, but I think they decided not to because Target um, here in Australia actually um, got a hold of some fake MAC cosmetics and now it was all a big blow up. So they decided not to sell MAC cosmetics just because they didn't want the, you know, the drama of the media and all that. So um, anyway, so Trade Secret often gets bits and pieces. They've had Bath and Body Works candles there before, once before, and that was a while ago. And, um, but now they've got Yankee candles. So I've got um, the soft blanket. And they had some really gorgeous winter scents, cinnamon, warm, spicy. Um, they had like, there was one called pine needles or something and that was just beautiful. But I've got all those sort of strong sort of scents around the house. I wanted something light and I got mum to have a sniff of these with me and she, she decided this one as well just because it was light and different to what I have. So, um, this is the largest size and this was $30 and it's the 566 grams. So, um, and it's a two wick. I've just been burning it. So it's a little bit of steam coming off it. Smoke. Um, so it's, yeah, anyway, I just, and I love this little teddy bear. Isn't it cute? So you could imagine what it smells like. It just smells like soft, clean, um, light scent. But what I like about this is that, Although it's so light and e although it's so light and um, you know a fine scent, it lingers throughout the whole house within minutes. So I love it. So definitely check out um, Trade Secret for the Yankee candles. They also have a medium size and a small size to choose from. The smallest is I think fourteen dollars. The medium is about twenty five, and I opted for the large for thirty, which is a good deal. And then um, I went to Chemist Warehouse. Um, my skin's been really irritated lately. Um, I think it's because I've been using a lot of um, the body washes I've been using. I use a trio of um, the Lush Snow Fairy, which <clears throat> smells nice. It's a little bit too heavy. Um, it's too sweet, too 
I don't know, it plays up with my breathing a little bit. So, um, and that one irritates my skin. Um, one of the body shop um, body washes irritates my skin as well. It's the peach one. And also um, another body shop one from Christmas that I got, the gingerbread man. They're all nice, but they, they're not good for my skin. I often use the um, Clarins body wash but um i haven't repurchased that one because i thought i'd try these other ones but they all irritating for me so my skin's been a little bit bumpy on the elbows that my skin's been really itchy behind my thighs and bumpy so i decided to get um just a cream with no fragrance no you know not too much stuff and i got the intense repair ultra repair cream from first aid beauty and we don't have first aid beauty that i know of here but i've noticed that um kemma and yeah kemma actually sells probably about five um first aid beauty products now at the moment and they've got them on sale so um this is brilliant it's i mean i've used it about four times now i use it every night after a shower and it's got no fragrance. Um, it's sort of, it's it's light, like it, it is a tiny bit greasy, but it dries down really quick and then you don't feel it on your skin. Um, and the skin is just, you know, my itchy, my dryness, everything's just disappears. Intense repair with um, antioxidant boost, hydrate dry, patched or itchy skin for the face and body. I put this on my face one night and it did so well on my skin. My skin was nice and plump the next day. Um, no irritation, no greasiness, just really comfortable on the skin. So we'll move on to, I'm probably skipping back and forth here. Um, so on a separate occasion, I went to Priceline. I was browsing around for um, a cream, but I ended up getting the First Aid Beauty one anyway. Um, but I got that from Kemma, as I said, and I found... Um, this this is the Hello Kitty um, perfume body mist in must sticks. This um, smells exactly like more marshmallow. Um, it is beautiful, and it's only five dollars. So um, you can find this at the um, Hello Kitty stand. You know the makeup stand. They've got three, um, and this one was my favorite. So it just smells exactly like the more must sticks. And then I got, um, I found that they've got the new lip butters from Nivea. So I got the uh, vanilla, vanilla and macadamia. And actually this is really quite nice. It smells like rice pudding. It's very light, but very, I don't know, it's a lovely smell. And it's just, <clears throat> it's quite nice and nourishing on the lips. So I like that. <clears throat> And then I went to the Dior counter and they have released the new Dior Addict glosses and the Dior Addict um, lipsticks, the extremes and the regular. And um, so I picked up two of the um, glosses and the two shades I got were 153 in Premier Soiree. I have no idea what I'm saying here. And the other one I got is Dormuse 363. I'll link them below the names just because it's a little bit hard for me to pronounce. So <clears throat> this one is Premier Sori. And it's a gorgeous um, baby pink and it's more of a pearl. They've, uh, they've got like, um, like a sparkly finish, a flat and a, like a flash, like a pearly sort of finish. And this is the pearly finish. It's so gorgeous. <clears throat> and I don't often go for pearly finished glosses, but this one is so pretty. I'm wearing it now and it's nice just to put on the center of the lips. That's what I thought about um, doing with this one, just because it's so, it's really pretty. And then the other one is just a flat color. It's got no pearl or, sh or sparkle in it. And this one is gorgeous too. Just a really beautiful rosy pink. <clears throat> 
And I'll show you in a minute, I found some dupes for them. If you don't want to spend the money, because these are ridiculously expensive. Um, I don't like to pay, you know, lip glosses. I, you know, I don't mind paying money on foundation base stuff, but lip glosses, I don't know. But I couldn't help it. I mean, they are really gorgeous. So it's just a gorgeous flat pink. So they smell similar and the texture of them are similar to the these Maybelline um, lip glosses. Um, so I think these were like, you can get these all the time on sale. This one's called Electric Shock. And this one's called Glisten Up Pink. Um, and also this one's, this one's a pearl, just like, um, I'll show you. I mean, they're not exactly the same, but they're very similar for the price. I mean, you can't really go wrong. So there's um, Electric Shock. So there's Electric Shock and there's Glisten Up Pink next to the Dior glosses. So they're quite similar. I mean, if you don't want to pay... Um, if you don't want to pay a ginormous amount of money for them, then I think they're the way to go. They even sort of taste, smell similar, that sort of fruity thing going on. So, so I also did pick up my first um, Real, Tex Real Techniques brushes. Um, I haven't tried them and um, like before this purchase, and I must say they are amazing brushes. So I got this one, which is the Stippling Brush. That's just the packaging to show you. And here it is here. Love this. I like this more than the MAC 130. Then I got the Core Collection. Oh, it says Your Base Flawless Core Collection. The one with the yellow handles. These are so brilliant. I absolutely love them. I'll show you. I'm just getting organized. Um, here they are here. This is the contour brush. Love this one for powder, um, you know, setting powder. Really gorgeous. You could use it for blush or contour. This one is the buffing brush. Again, nice for liquid foundation and powder or blush. This one's the pointed foundation brush. This is great for concealer. And this one I use, it's a little bit dirty, detailer brush. And what I use this for is, um, I don't know if you notice, which I'm sure you would, um, I've waxed my eyebrows a different shape and I filled them in differently. And um, so what I use this for is concealer. So when I finished um, powdering my eyebrows, I just go around the edges with concealer and just neaten it up because it can look a bit messy when you're using powder. So this is perfect for that sort of work. Or you could use it as a lip brush or point concealing. So absolutely brilliant brushes. Love them. So I'm going to move on to jewellery now. I got this gorgeous um, pink beaded necklace. Really pretty. This is only $9 from Lavisa. And that'll just go nicely um, if you've got a low cut, low cut top. Or you could, I think it'd be really sort of sexy on, it'd be that, I think it'd be that nice combination of sexy and cute under um, like a black um, turtleneck or something in winter. I bought this for, um, you know, going out for dinners and things like that. I'll show you how it looks. So you just put it on your, so you just put it on your wrist and I thought that would just be really nice for, um, you know, again with, a long sleeve or a dress or something those um, you know nice nights out for dinner and stuff so I love that that's also from La Visa. two pairs of earrings and I got these which are absolutely gorgeous they were quite cheap as well from La Visa, and they're just stunning I got a lot of compliments um, on these one night 
And then the other pair are these rose sort of stud earrings. Again, just gorgeous. I love anything sparkly um, on the ears. Um, I also picked up this, I don't know if you can see, it's a peplum top and um, it's just, but it's a nice mint sort of bit deeper mint green um, and it's just really nice for, um, you know, like with jeans when you're, you know, casual day shopping. Um, and then I got this scarf, this pink scarf. It's just a basic scarf. I'll take it off and show you. Um, just basic and it's got, it's got frayed, um, fix up my hair. It's just got frayed edges, edging on it, which gives it a little something different. So really love that. It's probably a good idea to take it off now because I don't know if you can see the sun coming out. So um, that is it. I had so much fun doing that actually. Um, I, actually, you know why? Because I didn't have to, usually when I'm setting up to film, it's such a drama. I have to plug in a lamp. I have to, you know, set books up so the lamp can face me. And But I'm using the computer desk here. So um, it's just so much easier um, and I'm happy with the lighting and everything. So um, I hope you guys enjoy that and I will speak to you very soon. Um, love you and thank you for all your kind words and support and I will speak to you soon. Bye.